no, no, not call a guy. We just need someone to post. And he hung up. Huh. I wonder who he's calling. I don't care. It's someone useless, I'm sure. So, uh, who's left? Well, nobody. We've called everyone we know, and all of them either aren't answering, are leaving us here out of spite, or are too crazy or trapped in a cave to be useful. Well, there is one person left. No. Well, what choice do we have? We could just stay in jail. I'm calling him. I really wish you wouldn't. Concern noted and ignored. Hey, it's Joe. Joe. Yes, that Joe. No, 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 you had it. The last one. Yes. Right. No! Yes. Yeah, the Tanner's here too. We need you to bail us out of jail. Yeah. No, Joe. You just had it. Yes. Jail. Come bail us out of jail. Awesome. He's on his way. Oh, no. You've reached Phone 6 Unlimited. What are you wearing, hot stuff? Say it ain't so, Joe. There you go again, pointing backwards. Was it Streetwalker, Drew? I am not a hooker. I said Streetwalker. I'm sensitive. So did you bring the bail money? I did better. I hired the Matlock to keep you and your lady of the evening out of jail. If you can call them ladies. Which I can't! But I don't like the Matlock. No. No, no, no. See, look. Matlock isn't real. He's on TV. Played by Andy Griffith. You couldn't have... Oh my god, he hired the Matlock. Sure is a mouthy one. That's why I stick to the Puerto Ricans. Only speak French. Can't understand a word they say. It's all sprechensy this and autobahn that. White noise! Okay, so if I'm going to defend you, I'm going to need to know all about this case. First things first, where did they find the body? There is no body. Okay, never found it. So what evidence do they have? Well, I mean, we're not in jail for murder. We're in jail for breaking out of jail. Well, that's silly. If you broke out of jail, you wouldn't still be in jail. Well, he got caught, actually. Because someone, by which I mean Luke, is the worst criminal ever. So, where'd this all take place? Uh, down in the jail. The one we were just in. What? Nah, couldn't have. But... They've got cameras and whatnot down there. They'd have footage of the whole thing and have the real killer by now. Still not a murder. Not a murder. No, never has been. Well, I'll look into it. Just give me a few days. I'll figure out who really did it. You got nothing to worry about. Officer, you let me out now. This is why I don't like the Matlock. You know, I can't help but notice that we're still not bailed out. When we get out, I'm getting the old guy hooked on Burke's Law instead. Listen, we got a good one. These two, they're in jail. They don't got a body or a weapon, and it happened in the jail. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. I'll find out if anyone saw anything. And pick me up a hot dog, will you? I've been craving a hot dog. I wonder what the Matlock is up to. I don't even want to know. You think it's too late to request a public defender? Well, then we're never going to find out who the killer is. There wasn't a murder! You don't know that. There might have been. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice, Mr. Maxwell. It's no problem. How can I help you? I was hoping to ask you some questions about an incident that happened in the jail a few days ago. Oh, I heard about that. Such a shame. What have you heard? Oh, you know, not much. Though you're not the first person to ask me about that today. Sharon Kensington was here asking the same questions you are. Do you know where I could find her? Oh, I'm not sure. I know she was leaving town very suddenly. You might want to check the train station. I intend to demonstrate beyond a shadow of a doubt that my clients were never anywhere near the jail on the day of the murder. 
Thank you. Just spoke to Maxwell. He says Sharon Kensington's been asking questions and get this, he's leaving town. I'll go have a word with him. You see that man over there? In the corner? Yeah? Yeah, I think he knows something. Go see what his story is. Excuse me, I work for Ben Matlock. I've got nothing to say. Look, I've got two guys on the block here. If you know anything... Okay, look. As long as you don't say you heard it from me. You got it. Strange time for a vacation, isn't it? Oh, Mr. Matlock, I didn't expect you here. Where are you going? Mexico. One way, I know. Out of the country. What are you running from, exactly? I'm not running. I'm just taking a trip. Yeah, yeah. What do you know about this murder in the jail? Nothing. Nothing at all. Haven't heard a thing. Maybe you should talk to Mr. Maxwell. Oh, we did. We did. He told me to talk to you. And by running, you know, you aren't really making him look wrong. Well, that's all well and good, but I have a train to catch. Well, no, you don't. See, that officer over there wants you to stay in town. At least until we get to the bottom of this thing. You understand. So, uh, have you heard from the Matlock lately? Nope. So are you as concerned about this as I am? At least. Ha. Huh. So what should we do? Well... Our options are pretty much limited to sitting in jail. Oh, right. Mr. Maxwell, you said you were in your office the night of the murder. I was, yes. And we've heard from your secretary that uh, this was the case. Of course, yes. So how do you explain this receipt from a convenience store using your credit card right across the street from the jail just before the murder? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was stolen. Maybe it was. Maybe. But uh, let me tell you what I think happened. I think you needed to be rid of him. He pushed you too far. So what you did is you stopped at the convenience store, and waited until you saw the police change shifts. Then you snuck down there to the jail, real quiet-like, and you stabbed him. Put the body right outside these boys' cell, framed them up, snuck right back out. But you don't understand. I had no choice. He was going to take away my business. <gasps> order, order. Bailiff, take him away. So, what do you want to do now? I never did get that hot dog I wanted. I know a place right across the street. Amazing. Just amazing. At 109 years old, that man can still solve crimes better than our police department. I hope to be half what he is when I'm that old. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, jury, you have a verdict. We do, Your Honor. On the charge of attempting to escape from jail, we, the jury, find the defendants, Luke and Joe.